Baseball fans and welcome. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the San Francisco Giants. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton and it may be interesting to see the offensive approach in this one Chris the wind is blowing in from the outfield pretty steadily yeah in conditions like this you just want to make sure that you hit the ball more on a line you get it up in the air it's just got more of a opportunity to be caught at the warning track instead of getting out of the ballpark so think you know keeping it down drive it into the gaps and get your extra base hits in this one and we'll be back for the first pitch right after this so almost ready to get underway and on the hill in this one, Logan Webb. What should we keep an eye on here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing and all of his stuff seems to be coming on the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. First pitch, one o'clock. All in one now. Now with the shift on, pitch right into it. Flores on to first. And Betts is gone. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big time challenge when he's right, working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him okay. elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Next offering is in for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Bell gloves it. He handles it himself. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. The first base is number five. Freddie. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And here it comes. That pitch in for a strike. That's strike one. Not even close there. And one and one. Two down, nobody on. Line to left, and that's just foul. Two two down. And that one wrapped foul. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Bounce to the right side. Bell takes it to the bag, and that'll do it. Dodgers go down quietly. It's the Dodgers nothing with the Giants coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And on the hill for the Dodgers, Walker Bueller. What do you have on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick.
Next one is off the plate. Now one and two. And a swing and a miss. One up, one down. That was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the that bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really Let's tunnel the pitch off. where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. One down, base is empty. Right side, Lux handles. Over to first, and here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. That is good. Now we take a peek at the Giants lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find... Well, he's under it to make the catch in center. And we'll take a break. Giants down in order. We played an inning. No score. Back here in San Francisco. Here's Max Muncy. That funky Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Yeah, the right-hander deals. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Peterson drops steps, heads back on it. And there's one down. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. This guy has turned into a beast. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Next pitch is outside. Two will count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. And a pitch. Rip towards third. In plenty of time to first. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Turner now. The pitch. And downstairs. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And he grounds one to the right side. Slides, but it gets by him. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team of that right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Pinch running here. Kevin Pillar. So two down. Chris Taylor down. The pitch. Gets the slider in there for a strike. for a strike or a two down. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. That's towards center. Duggar makes the catch. And that's the third out. One left for L.A. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, now David Price. Number 33, David Price. Hunter Alberto, now in the game as he takes now over third. third base. Number 17. Hunter Bottom half of inning number two. Here's a cleanup hitter for the Giants, Brandon Bell. Leading up for the Giants, the first baseman, Brandon Bell. Pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. And it's fouled away. The 0 2. 
backed off the plate that time. Activity in the bullpen. Alex Vesia looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Pitch misses. Now two and two. Next offering down low and in the dirt. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throw on to Freeman. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting fifth. The dedicated hitter. And next is the designated hitter, Darren Ruff. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Good eye in that spot. No score here in the second. There's the strike. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. On the ground to the left. Lux handles the chance. Throw not in time. It's an unlikely infield single. That exists. The left field. Goss. Peterson. One down. And now Jack Peterson. The pitch. And there's the strike. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Comes up empty on the swing, only two now. Well, pretty clear to me, he is trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. The next offering misses, and the count is one and two. Grounder might be two. Turner to second, and that's two. Got the batter to hit it exactly where he wanted. That textbook 6-4-3 double play gets out of the jam and back in the dugout. On to the third inning. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Well, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. That's the third. To first, one up, one down. One down, here comes Cody Bellinger. The pitch. That's inside. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. The next pitch misses, and now 2 0. Top of the third, no score. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. And it's off the wall. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone. And then guys now have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Yeah. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. And now it's Betts. Webb back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Bellinger leads off second with one gone in the inning. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And he'll two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's the second out. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which 
indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. 0 oh, and 2 now. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. That one ran inside, almost got him. Two outs and one in scoring position. On a line, base hit. Bellinger doesn't stop, heads for home. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. So the Dodgers leave one, still no score. Grotterol gets the ball now, and this guy can bring it velocity wise. Back here at the ballpark, down the third baseman, Wilmer Flores. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. That one lifted to left. He can't get there, and that should be extra bases. Fires the second too late, and he's got a double. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there the stepping field. up to the challenge. Pulled defense. that one right in the direction of the shift to defense, but no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. Making a move at second base and pinch running for the Giants. Jake Vossler, he's the potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score in a base hit. Now batting Steven Duggar. Here comes the pitch. Trying to bunt his way on. Down the line, and it's foul. The winning run on second base. Oh, and this one's plastic. High and deep. It's on its way. Out of here. Ball game. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. I'll meet you anywhere, anytime, any place. Yeah, you can't compete with me. I'm one man, but I got my whole team with me. And you thinking that I'm someone you can beat, really? Even if I fall, I get back on my feet quickly. Nothing, your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.